they were ti- ti- tired and stiff from and stiff. Yep, you got it. Stiff. Stiff from driving. Driving from driving the tractors all day. They were also hungry. Slow slowly they walked over to the same to the small fox fox hole. In the bo- in the bottom of the huge huge Keep going, honey. I'll stop you. If you see huge cricked crater. crater Bean's face was purple with rage. Bunts was <laughs> was crimson. Cursing. Cursing the fox with dirty words the that cannot be Predicted, printed, printed, found, bounce came wait, waiting up, dang the blast that feel filthy sinking. Fox, he said, what the heck do we do now? All right. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, my little sister just, she's about to come over here. Come here. (laughs) Okay, now we need another volunteer. So let me read this last part again. So, oh, dang and blast that filthy stinking fox, he said. What the heck do we do now? Okay, can I have somebody read the rest of this page? Okay. I see a lot of volunteers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess on my screen, I can only see so many. Once again, the only way to continue getting better at reading is if you read on here. Um, Elena. Come on. I'll tell you what we don't do, Bean said. We don't let him go. Whenever let him go. Bounce decided. Bunce declared. Bunce declared. Never, never, never. <laughs> Cried. Buggies. Bug. Did you hear that? Mr. Fox yelled me. Bending low. Bending low. There is only... One second. It looks like you skipped some stuff. Bending low and shouting. And shouting. Then there's only one thing to do. No, no, no. We're over here, okay? Let me highlight it. Bending low and shouting down the hole. Can you see it, honey? Well, I'm shouting down the hole. Okay. It's JV, not over. JV, thank you, Elena. JV, can you finish this off? Where's JV at? Oh, he is right there. JV, we can't hear you. Let's make sure we're sitting up, okay? JV, and let's sit up and let's read. I don't remember the last time he read. <laughs> JV. Okay, we'll come back to him for sure. Rondre, go ahead. It's not over yet. Oh. It's not over yet. Mr. Fox, we're not going home until we've strung you up. 
dead as your daughter. Dead. Dead. Back. Dead. Back. Dead as a ding back. Dead as a ding back. Where up? Where up? Where up? The three men all shook hands with one another and square a solemn, 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 oath, oath, that they that they would not go back to their forms until the fast was caught. Okay, can somebody tell me what they mean by this? Whereupon the three men all shook hands with one another and swore upon swore a solemn oath that they would not go back to the farms until the fox was caught. What did the three what did the three farmers do right here? Put this into our own words. Okay, I see a couple hands. You can call on some people. I can't really see everyone. Oh, no, you're good. Emmanuel, do you know what the farmers just did here? <gasps> what they did is they're, they tried to work together to catch the flock. And okay. they wouldn't go back to their farms until the fox was caught. Yeah. So when they say make an oath, they say they made a oath. What's that another word from saying? Making a what? Um. You made an oath. You and your friends made an oath that you would do all your homework before you get back on Fortnite. Jayana? She, oh, I saw she put her hand back down. Take but, a risk. Yeah, take her soon. Oh, don't forget. There you go. They made a pack of three. So, yeah, they kind of made a deal, kind of made like a promise. Like, if you say something under oath and you shake hands, it's kind of like you're making a deal with one another. So they made a deal pretty much with Jayana and Emmanuel said it's they made a deal that they weren't going back to the farm until um everybody until the fox was caught. Fox and the family. Okay. J V, can you hear us? Miss Miranda, can you privately like message him? Yeah, let's do that. Um until then. I can let's hear you. Okay. okay. Can you read the next paragraph? Well, right here, up into this. Wait, where? I have it highlighted, buddy. What's the next move? What's the next move? X bunts the pot. B. Okay. Bellied. Belly. D four. I can't see, see it well. D war. D war. Mm -hmm. D war worse sending you down the hole to fetch him up. Said be down you go, you miserable. Mag Maggot. Try that one again. Oh. Midget. 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 Not me. Scream. Bunch running away. Be may a sickly smile when he smile you saw his. Squirt, squirt. Scarlet. Scarlet guns, gums. You saw more gums than teeth. Okay, thank you, JV. 
So when he smiled, you saw his scarlet gum. So, Miss Miranda, you made a face. Can you tell us why you made a face? <laughs> uh, so scarlet is a really bright red color. Uh, so if you look at your gums, they should be. Everybody smile. Yeah. Everybody smile. Your Jeez. gums should just be. Your gums should be more of a, I don't know, like Miss Miranda. Yes. My gums probably not the healthiest. <laughs> also, if you have darker skin, your your gums are gonna be a little darker, but they should not be red. <laughs> not be red. So that means that Bing doesn't do a lot of what. Brush. Some just saying. He Brushing his teeth. Brushing his teeth, so they're not well hygiene, as we learned earlier. And you can okay. kind of see in the picture he's missing some yep. teeth. <laughs> in the picture as well as he's smiling and then you have um bunch right here and just so we're on the same page Nikayla who are they trying to send down there to get the fox is it Bean or Bunts go back into the text did you call on someone Nikayla Nikayla okay what are they trying to send down there? Is it Bean or Bunts? We gotta make sure we Bunts. understand. You said they're trying to send down Bunts. That is correct. Good job, Nikkei. Okay, let's continue reading. Demaya, then there's only one thing, and then we are going to end this page. I think this is the end of chapter. We're going to end with Felix. Then there's only one thing to do, he said. We're start, wait, what did I say? Starving him out. We kept here day and night watching the hole. He'll come out in the bed. Okay, so out. he'll come out. Read that one again. He'll come out. He'll come out in bed. The, the end. He'll come out in the end. He'll come out in the end. He'll have to. Okay, Felix, go ahead and finish this off, please. <laughs> so Bogus and Bunts and Bean sent messages down to their farms, asking for tents, sleeping bags, and suffer. And read that one again. I suffer. You said and suffer. Mm, not quite. Suffer. Is that what that word say, Felix? Mm. Suffer. Sound like you were saying suffer. Supper. What is supper, Felix? A meal. A meal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So let's keep going just for the sake of time. We're looking good on time, but we got to get through this. Okay. Raise a hand if you have not read yet. Everybody will read today. Uh, Logan. Logan. Michaela. Kristen. So Logan's going to read the first paragraph. Michaela. You're going to read this. I don't this. think Evan has read either. Okay. So, Logan first. Then since Evan is right by you, he'll read this one. Nikayla, you'll read... Sorry. Oh. You'll read the ending of this page. So, Logan, Evan, Nikayla, and then we'll regroup. Okay. Logan, start with the chapter title and the chapter number. Make sure you're not on mute, Logan. It's for sure. I have hey, the foxes begin to starve. That evening, three tents were put up in the crater on the hill. One of Bogus, one for Bogus, one for Bunts, and one for Bean. The tents surrounded Mr. Fox's hole. And the three farmers sat outside 
their tents eating their supper. Bogus had three boiled chickens sm smothered in dumplings. Bunce had... Sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. What? Bunce had six donuts filled with disgusting, disgusting goose liver paste. Mm -hmm. And Bean had two gallons of cider. All three of them kept their guns beside them. Evan? Bacchus picked up a steaming chicken and held it close to the fox's hole. Can you smell this, Mr. Fox? He shouted. Lovely, tender chicken, why don't you come up and get it? The rich sent. Uh, okay, Liz, thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to make the sure. Rich sent a chicken waste waste. Yep. He down to, down the tunnel to where the foxes were crouching. Oh, that said one of the small foxes. Could we just sneak up and? Snatch it out of his hand. Okay. Let's pause right there. Okay. Come on. My sister's about to read this. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if you all can see it. Huh? Come on. Okay. You're slowing us down, honey. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Talk up, sir. Don't you dare say Miss. Mrs. Mrs. Fox, that's just what they want you to do. But we're so hungry, they cry. How long will it be till we get something to eat? Okay, good job, Terry. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, who else didn't read? We're gonna talk about this at... The oh, the man? man. Danae, where's Danae? Yeah, Danae. Danae, read these next two paragraphs, please, starting with their mother. Their mother didn't answer them. No, not, not did their dog. There was no, no. There was no answer to give. As a darkness fell, bounced, bounced, and being switched it on the powerful. The, Can you see it? Become late. Of the, the two trucks. Take a risk. Can you see? Truck cars in a bin are trying to keep watch of of watches while to be in some on all the the night. Okay. Good job, Danette. Let me see really fast if Miss Williams I haven't been able to let's see. I don't know if I can make it bigger. I think um if you go up where it says A, like the a. yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's play around with this. Remember, and then remember. font size. Let's see that. Should I keep it in white? You think white is the best? I think white is, yeah. I do too. Okay. Is that better, friend? Woo! Look at us. Okay. It makes less be on one page, but I think this is better for us. So I think we've read this part. I know. I think so as well. So let's see. 
where we're at. We just finished this part as well, huh? We're like right here. Bogus said. Here we go. Right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Bogus said. Let's see. Uh oh, we got a few more pages. Okay. So let's pause really fast. If we don't get through all of chapter eight, that's fine. We have to make sure we're understanding what we're reading. So um let's spend about 30 seconds just thinking. So the question that I have for you all is what is going on in chapter eight? Let me go back to the title. The foxes began to starve. We know that our title and our illustrations can help us figure out what's going on. What's going on in chapter eight? Just think for a second. And I've typed the question in on the chat if you need to see it. And if you want to go back, that's why Ms. Williams came to the first page. What is going on? Once you think you have it, give us a thumbs up. We got about 15 more seconds of think time. Okay. Now let's see, anybody want to give us a summary of what's going on? I see some people like writing it down or looking at stuff. Once again, the only way to learn is to take a risk. Let's hear um, from I have not heard from much today. Have we heard from Kristen yet? No, we haven't. Oh, uh, what they're doing is the tents. Okay, let's be very specific, Christian. Let's not say they. Who are they? Because it's a lot of different characters in this story, so be specific. What, who, who are they? Bogus, Bunce, and Bean. Okay, what, what are the farmers? We could say the farmers for short. So the farmers are what? They're surrounding Mr. Fox's home. Okay, and what are they? Are they standing up? Are they? They're standing up? Mm, not quite. Go back into the text. I'm going to allow you to find a friend to help you because they are not standing up. Jayana. Jayana. The three farmers were in a tent sitting down. Yes, the three farmers are in their tents. And what's going on with the Fox family in the meantime? Um, what's going on with the Fox family? Is that Nikayla, Emmanuel? Yeah, I don't think we've heard from Emmanuel, have we? Emmanuel, what's going on with the Fox family? The kids are are really hungry and they're crouching in their little in their hole thing. Yeah, so the kids are pretty much saying, telling their parents that they're hungry, hungry, and begging them for food, just like the the farmers anticipated. Okay, perfect. Now hmm. continue. Um, we were. Oh, we're right here. Okay. We perfect. So bogus said. I'll read this for the sake of time and then Miss Miranda, if you jump right in after me. Mm -hmm. Please make sure we're paying attention and we're listening to how Miss Miranda and I change our voices based off what is saying that they're doing. Fluency. Bogus said. What if the fox digs a hole right through the hill and comes up out on the other side? You didn't think of that one, did you? Of course I did, said Bun, pretending he had. Go on, then tell us, go on then, tell us the answer, said Bogus. Bean picked something small and black out of his ear and flicked it away. How many men have you got working on your farm? He asked. 
third of five, Bogus said. And I've and I've got 36, Bunt said. And I've got 37, Bean said. That makes 108 men all together. We must order them to surround the hill. Each man will have a gun and a flashlight. There will be no escape then from Mr. Fox. Mm. Um, let's see. Who have we fluent, fluent, fluent? Um, I don't know. I think everybody read today. Hey, look at us. Okay, we going I think back. So too, yeah. Jayana, so the order. So the order went down to the farms, and the night one hundred and eight men formed a tight ring around the bottom of the hill. They were armed with sticks and guns and hatches. Hatchets. Hatchets, hatchets and pistols and all sorts of other horrible weapons. This made it quite impossible for a fox or a needed for any other animal to escape from the hill. Okay, good job, Jayana. Followed by uh, Nikayla, the next day. The next day. Okay. Nikayla? There you go, Nikayla. Right here, honey. The next day. The next day. We're we're right. Um, where I say the next the next day, the the watching and waiting went on. Bogus and bunts and being set upon small tools stools. Yep. Starting at box. Staring at the foxhole. They didn't talk much. They just sat there wait with their guns and their on their laps. Um, Rondre, every so often. Um, so wait, wait. Every so often. Every so yeah. I'm trying to see what we are. It's highlighted. Every so often. You see it highlighted, Rondre? Not on my side. It's not highlighted. Okay. Well, let me try to unhighlight it. Do you see it now? No. Okay. Make sure we're following along. Okay, I know it's a little hard from the phone. Let me call on someone else. Um, I don't know. Uh, I see Patience's hand up. Patience, go ahead. Every so often, Mr. Fox will creep a little closer toward toward towards the towards the mouth of the t tunnel and take and take a sniff then he would creep back again and say they they're still there are, are you, you are you quite, are you quite sure mr fox would ask is that mr fox or mrs fox mrs fox would ask Positive, said Mr. Fox. I can smell, I can smell that man being a mile away. He stinks. <laughs> I think that is it. So we are going to discuss a few things. I'm going to put 
the questions uh, on plan board. Let me stop sharing really fast. I'm going to put the questions on, drop them in a the chat so that we can talk. We're going to talk a little bit about I'm dropping the questions right about, make sure it goes to everyone now. Okay, good. So I'm gonna read the first question and they're in the chat so that in case you don't hear it, you could just look at the chat. So first off, we're discussing chapter eight. So we learned in chapter seven that they were trying to dig to get to the fox. And they ended up digging a big crate that got them closer. But they really weren't quite successful in getting the fox family. So my first question for everyone is, what was their next plan after the tractor plan didn't work? What did they do next? Uh, what did they do after the tractor plan didn't work? Logan, or do you want everyone to think for a second? Um, let's do, Logan can go. Oh, don't forget to unmute yourself, Logan. I don't think their plan will work because if the fox, since there's like, how many? Four foxes, oh, and I. You jumped ahead a little bit. We want the first question. What was the plan after the trip? Uh, okay. okay. The plan was for all the hundred and eight men to gather around the hill, and once the foxes um come out, they will um shoot them and stuff. Perfect. Thank you, Logan. So the plan was to gather, take the 108 men and gather around the hill. And once they seen the foxes, they were gonna fire away. Hmm. Now, do we think this plan will work? Yes or no? I want everybody to type it in the chat. Not why, just yes or no. Do they think it will work? You can either say yes or no. And I will call on, or Ms. Miranda will call on people to explain. No, no. No, no. Dang, nobody don't believe in the, the formers? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Emmanuel said yes. Yes. I think they will escape. Do you think the foxes will escape or do you think the farmers are going to catch them. Yeah, can you clarify that, Emmanuel? The farm, I mean, the, the foxes, the foxes will escape. You think the foxes will escape? Can you tell us why, Emmanuel? I think they're going to escape because they could, like, try and dig around the men and try sneaking away. So you think that they're gonna dig around the foxes and, so you think that the foxes are gonna dig around the farmers yeah. and dig away? Yeah, I think oh. they'll dig away. Okay. Somebody, everybody else respectfully disagrees. So somebody disagree with him and tell him what you think is gonna happen. I should see all hands, because I know we all said no, besides Emmanuel. Somebody disagree respectfully and tell him why. What you think gonna happen instead? Oh, wait, Miss Williams, I think, I think he thinks that the foxes will escape, so that means the farmers. Oh, wait. The f are, are, are we agreeing or disagreeing with the farmer's plan or the fox's plan? We should be talking about, do you think the farmer's plan is going to work? And I so, think Emmanuel thinks that the foxes are going to be able to get away, so it won't. Right? So it won't work? 
So Emmanuel, just to clarify, sorry, it's just um that's why we always talk about with the they. It's it's important to be specific that way because the they can cause that confusion. So Emmanuel, do you think the farmers are going to be able to catch the foxes? No. Okay. Okay. So never mind. So we all <laughs> agree that the farmers, yeah, let's we have to get away from the they. And I'm sorry, Emmanuel, I was a little confused too, because when we say they and there's over maybe like 10 characters in this story, we don't know who you're talking about. So one thing about reading a chapter book is we can't say they anymore because it's not just the one pagers we used to read. We're reading a book with a lot of different characters. And we have two really main sets of characters, the farmers and the foxes. So you have to be specific when you say that. So most of us do not agree, think that the plan will work. We we'll really need to talk about why Emmanuel gave us a reason. Okay. How would you feel if you were the Fox family being starved out of your home? Take a second to think, please. So pretend you're the Fox. Fact, let's go ahead and write the answer to these next two questions down mm -hmm. on paper. I'm going to give us two minutes. How would you feel and what would you do? I I uh, copied and pasted back them again so that way they're back on the chat so you don't have to go all the way up. How would you feel and what would you do? If you were the Fox family, I'm not taking questions. Um... Go ahead and take a risk. I want everybody to spend these first two minutes writing, please. Write down the answer. Can you repeat the question? Okay. How would you feel if you were the Fox family? So if you were in the family, you were starving. And what would you do if you were them? I would go down. Oos, what the star? Because, because I will want my family. I want my family. To have food on the table, the table, the table. Emmanuel asked a really good question. He asked, "What does the word starve mean?" So I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew what that meant. Okay, starves mean like if remember we started talking about eating, and a lot of people said that or Emmanuel was saying, Emmanuel, you was like, I don't know if I ate last night. Well, if you don't eat last night and you didn't eat breakfast at this point, uh, you probably will be super duper hungry. So starve just me. I'm sorry, that's why. I mean, what I meant was like, what does like starved out mean? Like what's the out word? Uh, All right, so. Yeah, you can. Use it. So uh, I'll just read what I said. So they want to starve the foxes until either they're dead because they didn't eat, or until they get so hungry that they come out the hole and then they can pow 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 pow. <laughs> either way, the farmers want them dead. So we're going to do a popcorn share. I'm going to call on one person, and that person is going to call on someone else, and that person is going to call on somebody else. We're only going to hear from three people. So you might not know if you're getting called, so be prepared. So, no, Ms. Miranda, you are going to actually call on the first person. Oh, then, the pressure. Ms. <laughs> call on someone. Sorry. It's okay. I, I don't want us to be biased, you know. <laughs> um... Let's see, who am I going to pick? I'm going to close my eyes. I'm just going to point to someone. Uh-oh. Right here. Who's this? Felix. Felix. What did you write down? I wrote down 
if I was the Fox family, I'd probably be hungry. And how I try to escape? Well, what I would do to try to escape the farmer's plan would is what Imana said. I would try to dig around them. Okay. Yeah, you call on someone, Felix. Um, Danae. Um, where's the question again? Okay, the question was, how would you feel if you were the Fox family being starved out of your home? And what would you do? How I would feel would be sad, and what I would do is try to help my family. Okay, how would you try to help them? By, like, go fishing and try to get food for them. You know that you just came. It's okay. We like the risk, okay? Remember, they're in a hole, so they really don't have no way out. It's like kind of like in a tunnel with no light. And the only way they can get food is if they come out of the hole, okay? They probably won't be able to go fishing, okay? Good risk, though, okay? Then they call on someone else. Patient. Patient. We like to call on our classmates. <laughs> Patience. Uh, what, what you say? I would feel I would feel homeless, and I would do. What I would do, I would find a way to get food. Can you elaborate? How would you find a way to get food? Like, I would dig, I would dig deeper, and, and like, if I find something that I can eat, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Dig deeper. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, oh, all right. With that being said, I think that we're going to pause right there. I know the lesson went a little bit over one today. But I think it was worth it, just getting that dialogue. We got through two chapters, so that's probably why it went a little more quicker. I just want to thank everybody for reading. It's very clear to us. We know just like that, if you do not read, you will not continue to get better at it. And some Miss Williams and Miss Miranda and I can hear some of us, it don't seem like we've been doing a lot of reading because, you know, we're reading at a slower pace. So... That's why it's important for when we are on our reading and math lessons that you are participating. Because I promise you, if you do not practice, you won't continue to get better at it. You'll just stay the same way that you are. I could tell you right now, I used to read like a fiend. And then I stopped reading as much. And I'll tell you right now, I'm not as fast as a reader as I used to be. And I'm, I'm old. Okay, be mama. So even as an adult, it'll go away. Yep. You tell them, Ariana. Learning has to never stop. So even if you just read in a newspaper or you read in the TikTok captions, you have to keep reading. We will want you to read a book, but if you got what you got, you have to keep practicing. Keep keep practicing. Christian, I seen a hand up. We're about to take maybe like two minutes. If you have a question, please type it in the chat. It's easier if we just type it in the chat. Ms. Miranda, as they're typing it in the chat, can you just give some closing announcements? Yeah. Um, so make sure you're getting on iReady and Lexia. Make sure you're doing that. Um, we're, we're checking to see if anyone's on there. So far, there's not as many people as we would like. So let's make, let's make sure we're getting on there if you can. And then tomorrow um, is our math lesson, and, and we're done. We're done for the week. Yep. One more lesson. Anybody? But somehow, it's not really a question. Oh, I have a... Um, if any of you could get a hold of any of your classmates, like if you know their phone numbers... You should like message them, be like, hey, you should join us on Zoom and, you know, kind of ask them what's going on. That way we can get everyone on here. Me and Ms. Williams would love if everyone was on here. That would be, that would make us so happy. That would. We got 
Danae on today. We had Krishan join us. So if you know people and you got their numbers, encourage them. Tell them it's fun here. It's not really a question, but somehow I got kicked out of Zoom. Both didn't work. Hold on, I gotta take this call. So yeah, they 